Welcome to my channel. My name is Benoit Sherry. This will be a two part video on how to make a concrete coffee table. So stick around. Peace out. To build a mold, you will need melanin boards. You can get all the melanin boards cut down to your measurement needs at any local Home Depot store. The second step, you will need to build your rebar mesh, which is used as a form of reinforcement so that the concrete doesn't crack over time. The third step is to tape the inside of the mold so that water and cement doesn't seep through the cracks. Now I'm going to slow down the video so that you can take careful notes on how to carefully apply a bead of silicone to cover the cracks so that you don't have any water or cement seeping through. Now you want to be careful while you do this brothers and sisters. Take your time, go across very slow. Make sure the most important thing is that you have to cover all the cracks. All the cracks have to be covered. Okay, take your time. Don't rush it. Be careful. This process is very important, brothers and sisters. Please pay very close attention. Take your time. Don't rush. Just follow that line, that tape line. So, there you go. The fifth step is to remove the tape. The silicone takes approximately two hours to dry. After that, you can just pull off the tape very gently. After you have pulled all the tape along the side of the mold, this is what it should look like. The sixth step is to start mixing the cement. By the way, brothers and sisters, my son does not use this tub anymore. I'm only using it as a bucket to pour in my concrete mix. I started using a stick. Once I realized that the process was somewhat slow, I switched over to my drill and attached a mix paddle to it. Number seven, what you want to do is pour the concrete inside the mold. Brothers and sisters, remember when you was a kid and like playing with sand? Think of it, it's actually the same process. The only difference is with the cement, you gotta really be very fast because this dries off really quick. So in the meantime, what you don't wanna do is waste your time with playing with it. But brothers and sisters, go ahead, knock yourself out in the process. Have some fun with it. Number eight, place the rebar mesh inside the mold. The rebar mesh will add extra support so that the concrete doesn't crack over time. Now, the ninth step to this process is to shake and vibrate the table like there is no tomorrow. Once you have your rebar mesh inside the mold along with the concrete, you want to make sure that to avoid any bubbles, you have to shake and vibrate the table. Now, you can pour in more concrete if necessary. At this time, you will know that if you need more concrete or if you don't need no, or if you don't need any more concrete inside the mold. So the concrete has to fill the whole entire mold and the concrete has to be over the reinforcement rebar mesh. 
Now, this is the perfect time to have some fun with this and play with it just like you're playing with sand back in back when you was a kid. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm leveling the cement so I can get a nice smooth finish. I used a scrap 2x4 that I had lying around the shop as a trial so that I can level some of the concrete to a smooth-like finish. In order to reduce bubbles I took out my rubber mallet and started knocking the side of the mold so that I can reduce the chances of getting bubbles and also I had to shake it too now you can do this process for like 10 to 20 minutes but I think I went overboard and I did it for 30 minutes just so that I could get a nice smooth finish the plastic sheet limits moisture entering the concrete which allows the concrete to dry faster overnight. The process takes about 24 hours but looking at the results pretty much satisfied. So pretty much what I did next was I removed some of my screws from the mold. Now this process is pretty exciting because you are very anxious to see what the results are. So you gotta remove all the screws. And while you're removing all the screws, you can actually see a little bit of the, uh, the concrete curing and drying. So that's pretty much exciting. So at this, this process, I had no trouble removing the, uh, the molding. Melanine is very, very um, smooth surface. It's a very smooth board. And it, I know for sure that it wouldn't stick to the, um, to, the con to the concrete. And here you go, look at that. So right now it's pretty much dry because I let a, another day pass. And I kept the surface very moist actually, just to help the concrete cure even more faster. So I took a, a microfiber towel, which kind of dried up the uh, the surface of the concrete. Now I still had some um, rough edges, but overall it was smooth. So I took a uh, uh, 220 grit sandpaper and I started sanding. Sanding on both sides, cross, making sure that I knocked out some of those um, edges, some rough edges. So mostly it was uh, on the side of the, the of the concrete itself make sure that everything is sand all per properly sides get all get everything sand properly now this 220 grit worked out very good i didn't have to go any higher or any lower it worked out great Brothers and sisters, let's give a round of applause for the dancing Wyobi Sander. And also, shout out to Wyobi for having one of the best beginners and DIY power tools in the nation. As I mentioned in the beginning, this is a two-part video. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope I encourage you to build. But before I close off, I wanted also to mention the importance of group economics by supporting our black communities and black businesses. This process will not only help our black communities grow, but it will help build wealth and power for our children in the future. In conclusion to this video, please don't forget to like, share, and comment. My name is Benoit Sherry. Peace out.